All right, this is going to be a quick comparison between uh, startup on a regular hard drive, 7200 RPM, and the uh, Samsung Evo 840 SSD. Just got this the other day and uh, got it installed last night. Did um, a fresh install of the operating system and I wiped my old drive uh, to just use as storage for everything else. It's a 2 terabyte, that's what I had before. Uh, so now I have a 120 gig SSD for my boot and my uh, main programs as well as the 2 terabyte for everything else as far as storage goes. But um, it should be a quick comparison here. I'll throw them up side by side and you can see how fast it is. Um, just from using it so far it's a lot faster my uh, computer rating or whatever experience rating is up much higher hopefully I didn't just screw up the audio there uh, I'm opening the computer quick and we'll see go to properties so yeah 7.6 versus what it was, which was it was 5.9 on the hard drive last time, and now that is at 7.9, I believe. So yeah, the hard drive itself w was the bottleneck before, and now I believe my CPU and RAM are both at 7.6. I haven't overclocked anything yet, but I might do that down the line. But anyways, here's the. Uh, comparison and uh, see for yourself all right I don't know if I'm gonna use this so here is just a uh, short symbol video clip I'm not gonna do too much talking just showing the shutdown and startup pre SSD this is with a um, two terabyte Seagate hard drive um, 7200 I believe it is Let's just do a restart. See how fast this works. Alright, I'm going to do a voice over here as I had a long period of just silence. So as you can see on the right side with the SSD, it's much faster even to shut down, which is good. Um, you're going to see pretty quick here some other screens that I didn't actually have before and I think that goes along with the setup I have with my SSD currently but I should be able to get rid of that uh, especially this one now that you're seeing loading uh, operating system I believe it is uh, I should be able to remove that screen altogether and that'll save me even more time but even with all of that uh, extra screens and everything um, the SSD is still faster including that time so on the left with my old hard drive without those screens I'm already on that page and I just got over to it with the SSD but as you can see it didn't even have a chance to fully load that little thing there um, already starting up with the SSD side and as you will see it loads all my stuff almost instantly Skype opens right away um, you can't see but off to the right my taskbar and all that good stuff on the uh, second display that I'm showing now that's already up which usually takes much longer uh, you'll see that when I move back over but uh, back into the audio now and I'll see you there Alright, so we're on a desktop right now on my uh, main screen, but I'm going to move over to my right screen here. This is my bigger one. And as soon as I see taskbar pop up on here, I'm going to call that the uh, time. That takes a while to get started as well. Still waiting. 
fairly considerable time here. My icons are refreshing over on the left side. Just out of frame. Should be any minute now. Fairly long time. Got a thinking cursor here. Still waiting. Alright, there's that. And now my uh, gadgets are also popping up. So, that should be about it. Alright, quick recap here. Obviously, there's a huge difference. Um, 2 minutes 48 seconds on the uh, standard hard drive and only 28 seconds from that starting Windows page on the SSD that gets rid of all the other stuff with those loading screens that I had before and it's just down to starting Windows. Huge difference. Um, I did go ahead and wipe everything when I installed my SSD so operating system and everything else is fresh as well. But there's your comparison. Thanks for watching.